not a bad gathering anyway. And so, fortunately, you are on a front I don't know, I, I think it's fortunately, this event is taking place today in the month of Ramadan. This holy month is going on for Muslim people. And this event is taking place in a place, the most whole. Inshallah, the purpose of this event will be able to come out to transfer in the next election. As you all know that our community, especially Bangladeshi community, Pakistani community, Muslim community, they are in this country, are a mature community. This community really needs to send their own representative to the city council locally or nationally. We need our own people to uh, raise our voices down there. In this connection, this today we have got an ample opportunity to have deputy leader of the city council here present and all the leading councillors here present, they will address our community of the past year. Only today, everybody, you with them to stop, but I think we are not comfortable feeling. That's why I will ask all the speakers to speak only two, three minutes, uh, not more than that, just to help our uh, situation. As you know, there's our election, local election is coming on 5th of May, it's our doorstep. City Council, Community City Council always run by Labour Party as you know that. I always telling you that only this party is a listening party. That's why we control Labour uh, Control Council always again in Coventry. These are the councillor present as very active and very close relations they maintain with the community. That's why we ask all the Muslim community support in this election Labour Party. We, from the very beginning, I say you that since I come to this country, I am working for the Labour Party. And all of my colleagues and friends of our community members, they support Labour Party. Because of the fact, they listen to the people. That's why we support Labour Party. Their policy is good, their everything is good. That's why today is a very shortcut way we will listen to the, our leaders of the city council today, here in councillors. Or giving them chance to speak to us, or our future is right there. Muslims, especially, I request you, <coughs> I got a chance to speak to you, that you should have your own representative there in the city council, locally and nationally. Otherwise, nobody will raise your voice loudly. So please, take part in politics. Politics is very important in this country for our future generation. So you got to allow your children to take part in politics. We should have to take part. I, from the very beginning, I take part in politics. That's why I try to just unite our community together. Now, I'd like to request our most prominent figure, Mr. Noem Khan, the councillor, Mr. Mm -hmm. Michael, to say a few words, please. Consider any time. Good afternoon, and as alaikum. I will be very, very brief. I know it's Ramadan, and many of you are busy. Uh, I will start where the Brother Mutassam left, uh, about the politics. And for us, especially the Asian, uh, taking part in, part in politics. Um, the next election, there are two issues which you need to keep in your mind and tell your um, family and friends. There are two issues I would like to talk. The one is the nationality and border bill. If this story government is going to introduce, which will, if, if, they, if they become a law, can strip our nationality without any notice, send us back to Bangladesh, Pakistan, and India. Or, if you are on holiday in India or Bangladesh, you turn up an airport, you will be told, sorry, your nationality is revoked, you can't go back to UK. So this is happening now, now and it's, it's, this is the Tory government behind it. So you need to take in that into mind whenever you go to the police station, the Labour Party is the only one opposing them. Because, I mean, I can't understand how my kids, they only know their aunties and aunties, uncle in Pakistan, they don't know anything about how they're going to survive in Pakistan. So why is the government doing it? 
They're trying to put us under pressure all the time. And to be honest, I would not like to live in that in, in environment where we constantly be under pressure. At any time, the government will rework our nationality and send us back. That is totally unacceptable in this day and age. And it's totally, I would say, it's a racist policy because it's going to affect just the immigrants. For example, if, I mean, I don't mind if, if, if it's come to national security, if somebody threat to this country's national security, yeah, you can report them. But if somebody is involved in any kind of criminality, it should be treated same as the white people. So please tell your brother and sister, the Labour Party is the only one opposing this new legislation. Secondly, the way this government handled the pandemic, we all seen that. It's all started from the, the P, what they call it, PPE. First, there was no PPE in the country, people were dying in it. And then we have seen how the Prime Minister and his minister actually, you know, we were all abiding the rules, staying home, but they were having the parties and affairs in the office. So please take these issues very seriously, vote Labour Party, and in our name in Ward here and Paul Hill, there is an independent candidate basically, blaming us for everything. The Labour Party has got nothing to do with issues he is actually raising them. Because our budget has been cut by the, the, the government. We lost 120 million pounds for the last you know, 10 years. Coventry is suffering. It's not just Coventry, most big cities. You know, if you if you go to Birmingham, the Leicester and Dudley, wherever you go, the inner city area, you will see a litter or privately. And to be honest, in Coventry, we've done a lot better than our neighbors in the country. For example, if you drive around Hillfield, you see a mattress or sofa today, that will be removed tomorrow. So the council is not dumping in it, it's the people who do it. In it. And we are pleading to people, come forward, give us a statement. If you see somebody doing it, we are, we are more than happy to prosecute the people. But unfortunately, not many people coming forward. So please, brother, vote Labour, not just here, but all over the city. If you've got your friends and family, tell them to vote Labour. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Now I request our most prominent figure in St. Michael, Mr. Jim Owell, to come and say a few words. Jim Owell, yeah? You know me. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two minutes. I think, we, I think we've met before. Huh? <laughs> yeah. and, uh, thank you, thank you Matassa. Don't forget to remember the time. You know. <laughs> <laughs> when does it start? Does it start after you should yeah. stop? Yeah. So, yeah. Right, as Naeem said, I'm, I'm going to keep this as short as Naeem. Naeem only took 10 minutes when he said he'd take 10 minutes. So, you, you, you noticed that, didn't you? Right, there's a couple of things I just want to say today. First, it's just to pick up on, on the point uh, that Naeem mentioned. That is about this nationalities uh, bill, which, as he said, is racist. Uh, but you, you could not have failed to have heard the government's latest plans about where people are coming to the country and fleeing <coughs> war-torn parts of the, the world, that they're going to take them to Rwanda and, and have them, have them uh, 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 sorted out over there. Basically, what they're saying is, the system here in this country, it's not working because they haven't staffed it properly, and therefore, instead of sorting out someone's application in this country and then either deciding whether or not they are a legitimate asylum seeker or they're a legitimate visitor to the country and therefore they can stay or they're not and therefore they need to go uh, back to where it is they allegedly come from instead of doing that which is a lawful and legal process they just get them on a plane and take them to Rwanda put them out of sight out of mind that is absolutely an appalling way to treat human beings who are coming all the way from places of war-torn danger to a place of safety to then put them back in a country and leave them there uh, 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 abandoned from all hope. That's under in the end. It's an absolute load of nonsense. And by the way, when Nae mentions about how racist it is in relation to the Nationalities Bill, well, as, 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 as Matassam said, when he was telling you my name about four times, my name's O'Boyle. Are they going to send me back to Ireland? 
Because that's what they're talking about. Yeah. Almost everybody I know in this in this room have got roots, and in fact, in this city, have got roots from around the world. And that's what this city, that's what this country is about. It's what makes us Great Britain. It's what makes us a powerful nation. It's what makes us uh, 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 rich with the ability to actually look after those less fortunate than ourselves. And that's what the Labour Party ultimately stands for. But there are times when some of us need to reach out uh, both whether it's through our religion, whether it's through our friendships, or whether it's politically, as a country, we actually want to do more for others because we can and we're determined to do that. And the Labour Party will always say we want to seek to support those less privileged than ourselves. And you, you compare that to the marked policy of wanting to ship people to Rwanda before you've even asked them the question or to ask where they've come from or why they are fleeing a particular part of the world. That is totally wrong. Coming right back here to uh, Coventry, and in particular to St Michael's, myself, and it's David Welsh, I know you'll, you'll hear from uh, shortly, who is up for election on May the 5th. Now, I ask that you support David. David has been doing a sterling job since he was first elected in 2010, and I'm sure he'll tell you about some of his plans he's got going forward. But I just, I just want to say that actually in St Michael's, uh, there is always more work to do. We, me as a, as a cabinet member particularly, we've done a lot in terms of regenerating our city centre and bringing investment into our city. We don't do that because we want to see a nice, comfortable city centre, even though we do want that. It's actually about bringing investment and bringing jobs and bringing opportunities to local people. And myself and David and Naeem, Councillor Naeem Akhtar, we, we are now working on a particular plan specifically for hillfields and actually how we can regenerate parts of hillfields. Because as Naeem said, 120 million we've lost per year, each and every year, from the city to spend on, 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 on our constituents has long gone since 2010. We need to find other ways to find money to invest in our local economy. There are things that we're doing that we can do more and we're doing at the moment but we want a holistic plan, and that's what we're working on. We'll be bringing that publicly to people over the next uh, few months. So I want you to say, I just want to say really that, look, uh, as Naeem said, and all other speakers I'm sure will say, uh, uh, this is never over, the work is never done, but investing in our city, investing in our constituencies, <coughs> investing in you as the residents in this area and in our area and in Coventry is what we are all about. But in order for us to do that, you need to go out to the polling stations on May the 5th and vote Labour. And I want you to vote Labour in St Michael's for David Welsh. I want you to vote Labour in Westwood for Abdul Job. I want you to vote Labour in Folzil for Tarek Khan. I want you to vote Labour for... Is there anyone else I've missed? I don't think so. But just to say that we want to be as representative as, as possible, and I know you'll, you'll hear from Councillor Shaquilla in Folsom, who's doing a fantastic job, along with Abdul Khan, really <coughs> shaking up Folsom and actually showing what they can do and the difference they can make. And that is what uh, being on the council is all about. Always here for you to do the best that we can for you. So, won't keep you any longer. Enjoy the rest of the day. <laughs> Request to follow the timings. Now you are free to speak. <laughs> now I like to request one of our community persons, ex councillor, a rising star of our community, Mr. Roy Sali. Professor Dr. Roy Sali. So, um, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody because I know Friday is always a busy time and giving your valuable time is very important. And we know, everybody knows why we are here. It's one of the time of the year, which is election time. And we're always supporting the Labour Party. I think I don't want to echo too much because already the councillors and the politicians have already said that they
sort of go to door to door knocking, or we couldn't sort of go and see face to face. We had terrible time of the last two years in, in politics and locally and nationally and internationally, and we have lost, lost loved ones as well. So this time round, there is an opportunity that you can do door to door knocking, you can see face to face, be visible in the area, and I'd like to say on the 5th of May, please tell your families and friends, everybody to come out. St. Michael, we've got David Walsh, uh, excellent counsellor, he's been there for a long time and his pedigree tells that, you know, over the years what he's achieved. We've got counsellor Naeem Akhtar, he's been working tirelessly in, 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 in St. Michael as well, Jim O'Ball. I mean, it was a tough time. I stood up in St. Michael, I know how bad was St. Michael. Now you can see what has developed over the decades. You've got uh, Shikila, you've got Tariq uh, Khan from um, Tozal, he's worked tirelessly. We've got our deputy leader, he's worked tirelessly as well. We've got Paris Akhtar as well in Wobley, he's worked really tirelessly. A lot of our councillors worked hard. You've got Maya as well in, in, in Bradford as well. I think Pat Heatherton is standing this time round. So please, uh, we've got people across the city. So wherever you are, wherever your link are, wherever your families are across the city, across the nation, please vote Labour on the 5th of May. And especially Brother Jobbar, he's tried really hard from our community and we really want him in the council to, with the flying colours. One day, inshallah, he will be a councillor. Yes. And please support him wherever you can. Now I request one of our young chap of our community, Mr. Abdul Jabba, he's trying from the very beginning to become the council. And this time I hope he got a very safe state, trial hill. West Virginia. Yeah, trial hill. That's why we are expecting him to become a councillor this year. May I request him to step to your Mr. Good afternoon. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Abdul Jabbar and I am a team manager, one of the team managers at Sightel and also I'm studying LPC at the University of Law. And I'm also like Mr. Ali said, our community leader. He's been leading our community for over 50 years. As he said, I'm the Labour candidate in Westfield and we don't have many community people living in Westfield. In fact, there are only three Bangladeshi community living there. But I need all your support on the Labour field. Uh, I want, you to, I want all the support to my friend David Walsh. Um, when I'm studying um, LPC or GDL or my politics, um, every time I struggle, I'm always asking David for help, and he's always helping me. So he's, he's a friend of our community, so honestly, honestly, Brother Tariq Khan elected again. Um, I want to see all the Labour councillors uh, elected again on the um, I was in Bangladesh uh, a few months ago, uh, and I've seen doctors earning millions of pounds, you know, like millions of, they're making millions every, every, every week. That's how, that's how it used to be in this country before Labour created NHS back in 1948. So because of Labour, we got free NHS. Because of Labour, we got free education. Because of Labour, we are here. Uh, and like Councillor Nani Wakta said, the National Liberty Bill, that's, that's very important to us because what they're doing is they're actually creating two-tier citizenship. And it's very important that we challenge it. And Boris Johnson and, and what he's doing, he, he has, he's actually got Priti Patel doing all this dirty work. So we need, to, we need to stand up to him and we need to send a message to the Tory government that we don't approve it and we want to send a strong message. And the only way we can do that by voting for the Labour candidates on May the 5th. Uh, so I'd like to say thank you to my agent, Councillor Mayadi, and also I'd like to say councillor, former Councillor Roy Saleh, I want to see him as a councillor again, and also my friend Bat Shamir, Rubel, uh, Lucky Bai, you know, like they're all coming down, you know, they're fasting like 12, 15 hours every day, and helping with the interest, leading in the much it, much it I, also, I also want to say thank you to my friend Shaheen Bai, because he's always there to help me. Uh, and Nurul Alam, so thank you so much and thank you.